Yes, but they again, my people, big up and respect to each and every one. I hope that everyone are right. All right, so look at this to this video carefully, my people, because you know, some things have been said, and I'm not the one who is saying these things. So listen. So I got the understanding that uh, on a day when work was being done on a road that's located somewhere within the country of Jamaica, at least one person had been held by police within the country of Jamaica and placed at the back of a police service motor vehicle. I got the understanding that at least one person on that day had been accused of intimidating persons who was working to try and fix or repair a road that's located at an area somewhere in the country of Jamaica. Now what I'm going to do viewers and subscribers, I am going to put together and present to you pieces of videos that's going to show some things that happened on that day where it is said that a person had been held by police within the country of Jamaica and the person had been placed at the back of a, a police service motor vehicle. And then I'm going to present an audio to you, my viewers and subscribers. And in the audio, you can hear a politician who goes by the name of Colonel Charles Jr. talk about the situation and he also talk about a person who he called a counselor. Yes, so may I say, viewers and subscribers. Anyways, here are the pieces of videos. Observe. Look at this now, people. He's here to stand up for the people of Rayman. Not here for no violence. We are here to do the work on behalf of the people. We have heard you for us cries. Can't be if we hear you. Listen, you know. Listen, my people. Watch out. Look, look. The police are fear moving him there. I him a in, 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 intimidate them. See them. We are here to stand up for the residents of Raymond and we want all Raymond's persons to come out yeah, and we want road because we are here to stand up for you. The road is going to be up for the community and it is being stopped. The workers are afraid. Alright, now people, I want to listen to some words that Colonel Charles Jr. said in this audio that I am about to present to you, see? And I think that the audio is during an interview. Yes, the audio is during an interview, but uh, um, I'm wondering if the interview is for a news report, which I think so, viewers and subscribers. But anyways, why you listen to the audio and tell me what you think and uh, observe. Today is a prime example of the distinction between the old time politics and the politics that Jamaica needs now. The politics where, as a member of parliament, whether I am GLP or PMP, all persons in my constituency are under my responsibility. The same thing that's happening today happened when we tried to put water in Salt River, where we have councillors like Mr. Bantwell, who are of the belief that areas are PMP and other areas are GLP. Rubbish! Those days are over and his time has expired. The reality is the new politics for Jamaica is that if work is to be done, it's going to be done. What I hear happen here today is despicable. And the leader of the People's National Party should be brought in to investigate why you have a councillor bringing men to stop work in an area where he for 20 years has not done the work. My people, I him I said these words, you know my people. Listen to the audio. 20 years he has been here and more and has not responded to an area which is predominantly pain. And I've said to the people who have come to me and said we want road, that it don't matter to me whether you're voting left or right. I have a responsibility to balance my development. And that's what we're doing here in the Raymond's area of the Hayes Division. If you're listening, you can hear somebody say some words to him now. It's not coming like a some roadside interview. Listen to him and say no. Complete rubbish. Mr. Bartel himself can show you his phone when I've tried to contact him many times. Many times. I can show you from WhatsApp to phone calls. He does not respond. 
Jamaica can look on it. Good afternoon, Councillor Barnesman. He's here again. Please give me a call when you are able to speak regarding Christmas program. He does not want to communicate. I am not going to stall the work of the people because somebody is over there who, if his heart is exposed, where it shows that he's not here for it. During the quiet video, you mentioned about phone, you know, my people say, I see a video on social media where actually I show certain things like words as up on your phone, you know. So, I say, him also basically I say that him expect a certain person to a walk around and I take credit or I say him do certain things. In my point of view, Pernell Charles Jr. I try to point out say him do. So, I say, so, uh, he set away. He set away, my people, see? But, anyways, I just present uh, the audio there to you. Yes, so I say, make you can hear some words that have been said. Yes, so I say, point out certain things. And let me know what you think about that situation. If you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Now, I am going to present a piece of a video to you that have been posted on social media that shows when a man use what I call a screwdriver to basically remove a certain amount of hairs from off of someone's head. Yeah, this video that I'm about to present to you is going to show how a person use what I call a flat-headed screwdriver to remove hair or a certain amount of hair from off a person's head. Now, my people, this piece of video that I'm about to present to you, I want to point it out to each and every one. How dangerous that is. See? That is not the right tool for anyone to be using on anyone's here or head. You have shear, you have scissors, you have proper tools when it comes on to putting hair designs in someone's hair or to cut or to trim someone's hair. But at no point, I will never find it appropriate for someone to use screwdriver to remove hair from off of someone's head. No, 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 no. See? So I'm going to present just a piece of the video to you, viewers and subscribers. And let me tell you something. I want to say this to each and every one. Please do not try anything that you see in this video at home. Do not try anything that you see in this video at all. And viewer discretion is advised for this video. Observe with my people. Now look at that now, right? There's some people. Like, no I look at this. Come in and play the entire video. And I read. No. See, but we just want you to see what I talk about right here. So. Hmm? Look at that. What that? Eh? How sharp can that thing be? But another thing again too, I also wonder if that video is some type of a publicity stunt. I wonder if the person do the video as some type of a ways to get views and likes on social media. Because, and a real, why would somebody do something like that? Eh? So I wonder all them things, I wonder if the video is a publicity stunt. I wonder if the video is some form of a skit that have been done to entertain on social media. But nevertheless, that is still dangerous right there. Eh? That dangerous. So let me know what you think, my people. So I see a picture posted on social media that uh, shows a person who some people might say at a location within the country of Jamaica basically begging. And it is believed that the person has some type of mental health issue. Viewers and subscribers, a lot of times when I see videos posted on social media about that person, I wonder if that person could get help and if that person could come back to a right state of mind then the people must see another picture posted on social media beside the same picture that shows the person claiming that that picture is the person now the people i want you to look at this picture right here and i want you to look at the other picture right here and tell me if these two pictures actually show the same person. 
My people, I want you to look at these pictures and tell me if these pictures actually show the same person because viewers and subscribers, OMG. Wow. See? And you know, the person who is believed to be mentally ill had been accused of doing certain things pertaining to drug habit. And a real number of people, there was a video that had been posted on social media basically showing the person looking somewhat better than how the person was before. And basically, it was said that the person was getting some type of help to make the person become a better person. So I wonder if these two pictures actually show the same person. Because OMG. See? And I also wonder if the picture is a before or after picture. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, let me know what you think, young people. I wish nothing but the best for each and every one. If you're new to my channel, don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. Until the next time, my name is Dancer Skiller. Big up.